Hey Taurus, how's it going? It's Gwen. I'm here to do a beautiful transformational spread for you today. Short and brief. Um, and we're going to look in my uh, shuffle deck for the death card and see what is surrounding the death card. Because the death card, when it comes out in a tarot spread, is absolutely about, it's a beautiful card. It's about a major transformation in your life. So I made this a timeless reading. I, I trust that it's going to reach those souls that needs to reach in divine timing. Okay. So if you were drawn here today, I'm absolutely sure there's going to be a message in here for you. Um, so first time joining me, welcome. Okay. Um, I really appreciate all of my followers. Thank you so much. Thanks for reaching out for personal private readings, for the donations. Remember to hit the like as you come in, comment below, share. Those are all ways that you can help support this channel. So <clears throat> I like to do these death card readings every once in a while. Um, they're very enlightening, okay? Um, I have a piece of citrine that I decided to start your reading with, put on my deck. Okay, beautiful piece of citrine. So um, maybe tune into that energy. Citrine is, is um, it's great for abundance, okay? I love this large chunk. It feels so good in my hand. I like to even carry it with me. So citrine for you, uh, Taurus. And I'm always curious to see what's on the bottom of the deck when I show... Mm. Leo energy coming in here with the strength cards, strength, surra strength surrounding this reading today. And as I was tuning in and getting focused um, for your reading, um, it started, ra it's raining outside and the birds were singing so beautifully and they were singing their own little song and um, it was for you guys. It was for you, Taurus. It was... I just started going, it's singing in the rain. That song? Yeah, absolutely. So it makes sense that that strength card is here at the bottom of the deck. Um, this is a reading, by the way, for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Remember to check out my other readings too on the channel um, because you're not just your sun sign, okay? But you could have a Leo present in your life too or just that Leo um, energy. I'll let you see that a little bit more see the shaman is holding the lion and um mouth lion's mouth you know and it's about letting some of our emotions out the shaman's trying to tame the lion a bit here okay so let's see where the death card is in the deck and that'll be very insightful too like i said i've already shuffled tuned into your energy There it is. Okay, that was that didn't take long to find. Okay, this and this, just one card each. The sun did want to come out and show you. This is the sun card on the split there. So good things coming, Taurus. Absolutely, especially with that citrine that I was. And on the other side is an ace, ace of wands. Oh, being so passionate and no wonder strength surrounding you in this reading. I love it. Okay. Good things coming, Taurus. So here's the death card in this deck. And I'm, oh, every one of these readings, I'm reading the death card because it's beautiful. And now has he come, the herald of all endings, the angel of oblivion, black wings spread above him, blotting out the stars. It is the silence between one word and the next. He is time, the great devourer. It serves no purpose to struggle against the door he closes before you. Your task now is to find a new path. And that's, you know, when, like I said, when this card comes out in a reading, it is a major shift in your life, a major transformation. Quitting a job, getting starting a new one, um, ending a relationship, complete new way of living, uh, a new mindset. All of those things is the, is the death card. Rebirth, okay? Um, and so we've got, and I'm going to take reversals in this reading too because that's very important. Um, Queen of Wands is what, reversed by the way what spirit would like for you to energy the spirit would like you to let go of or to heal okay here she is upright okay when she comes out the queen of wands is i mean look at her i mean she's whoa fierce right <laughs> this queen of wands is absolutely um charismatic bold vulnerable um just you can't even compare her to anybody else 
strength kind of thing, okay? Walks into a room and changes the, can lift up the entire room just with her inner energy. It's that kind of charisma. And so when it comes out reverse, you know, what happened, Taurus? You know, um, maybe you're not making any moves. Maybe you're staying in a stagnant situation when this comes out reverse. What happened to your passion, your zest for living, your courage? That's why the strength card was at the bottom, too. So, um, yeah, we're going to clarify it, too. I'm going to read to you the Queen of Wands. I love their little tiny little messages in here because they're really impactful. This queen. Whew. Okay. When it's upright, remember, this is a queen that a savage, unbound beauty in love with all that is lush and alive. I'm going to read to you what her traits are so you can start, you know, realizing maybe I'm not exuding these kinds of traits and I should implement them kind of a thing. Okay. A savage, unbound beauty in love with all that is lush and alive. She demonstrates the wonder to be found in experiencing the world with all her senses and never apologizes for her intensity. Her charisma is intoxicating and her speech is direct and uncompromising. Hear the crunch, hear the crunch crack as she uses her staff to tear away the brambles the att that attempt to block her path. If she let such petty inconveniences slow her down. She would never have become queen of this realm. The wise learn to follow her lead, bowing to her incredible will. Keywords, the life of the party, incomparable, incomparable charisma, intense focus, and a flair for drama. Okay. Maybe you've just been staying out of the drama, you've just been laying low, not being assertive, I didn't say aggressive, not being assertive. There's a difference between being assertive and aggressive. I'm learning it, by the way, Taurus. So we'll clarify that and see what else Spirit wants to say. I will clarify with my wizard's companion. And what does Spirit want you to move forward in? Four of Swords. The Four of Swords is rest, relaxation, rejuvenation, all of those things, rest, peace in the mind, okay, peace in the heart, okay, it's in the silence that we learn so much when we start nurturing ourselves and honoring our temple, um, that's why the white bird is here, the window, the stained glass window that's white, okay, the light pouring in when we rest, when we slow down, when we meditate, rest, Taurus, <laughs> Okay, Re ease up the thoughts and the mind, because the swords is about thoughts. Self-care, rest and recuperation, peace and quiet, okay? And with that strength card at the bottom of the deck there, you know, my intuition tells me that it's like, you know, you may have be in a situation that is a bit, quote unquote, debilitating you know, debilitating or whatever. Like, uh, so it's important that you honor you and your temple and you rest and radical self-care right now. Okay. Taurus. So, and maybe in the past you were this queen of wands energy too, in the drama, all, you know, like life of the party and, and spirits life. That's why you need to rest too. Okay. I know it came out reverse, but let's let's clarify it. Let's see what the Queen of Wands is, what the Spirit's trying to tell us with that Queen of Wands energy that we're letting go of. Oof. As soon as I said we're letting go of. Okay, that's, yeah. The Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords is about dishonesty. It could even be theft. Of some sort. I mean, because you see this dude here, and it's like, is did he take these books from the door? Is he coming or going? You kind of don't know in this, in this, um, and he needs cloaked, hooded figure. Okay. Uh, 
What else are they trying to tell me with this seven of wands, seven of swords? We're gonna look it up. Depends on what other cards are surrounding it. Thinking people are being dishonest with you. Thinking people are stealing from you. Look at how the cards are flying out. Okay. Have them be more sensitive to the situation. The King of Cups coming out. There's the situation here. Yeah. The death card came out again for you. <laughs> to clarify this. This is the death card in my and my um, wizard's companion here. Ending with this king of cups. Some sort of lying has been happening. Let go of this situation. There's a major transformation that is happening too. Within a relationship they're trying to pull out here too. With this queen of wands. Rushing into something. Let me go into this seven of, uh, seven of swords energy. From my bible. Dishonest, dishonesty, uh, sab sabotage, stealth, deception. Okay. And it's almost this sense of you might be like, this is going to come out kind of harsh, but I don't know how else to say it. It's like a queen of swords energy that I'm coming out with. Um, not wanting to see the truth in the situation. Period. I don't know how to say it. In regards to this relationship with the water sign. That's what's coming out there. Now let's talk about this rest. If you are really resonating with this reading and you need more info, like if you're like, she's talking to me, then reach out because I can definitely tune back in and we can see, you know, more of what's going on. Eventually, I'll have all our extended readings. But right now, like, I'm doing what I'm doing. So, what's this Four of Swords? Rest and relaxation, self-care. What else does Spirit want to say with that? Slow and steady wins the race. Um, I just did the Aries reading. And they had the same, same card. Well, that one wants to come out, too. Come out for the clarifier. The King. I mean, the... The Knight of Pentacles. Slow down. This is the slowest night in my deck. Slow and steady wins the race. You know, this is the night you can count on to get the job done always. And it's a trustworthy energy. So, trust yourself again. And what else? The Queen of Pentacles. <laughs> this is about knowing your worth again, Taurus. Okay, look at look at this beautiful Queen of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. I love all the, the flowers around her and the rainbow energy in the sky, which is a beautiful sign. And, um, she understands abundance mindset and how it's tied with her worth. Um, she takes the time to care for herself mm -hmm. and her temple. The green robe she's in, it's just... Mm, it's glorious. The, the rose petals of actually they look like peonies. Might be drawn to that flower. This is gorgeous. So this is about knowing your worth. It's time to rest and recoup and uh, radical self care. S slow it down. Definitely with that Knight of Pentacles coming in. Look at your underlying energy. The, the Queen of Wands. What I spoke about about the Queen of Wands. Here she is again. That one hit the nail right on the head. They want you to you remember what I said about the Queen of Wands. That's a, it's a big part of it. She's holding this sun. This she's look at her. Something happened within this. You know, you're not trusting yourself with this Queen of Wands energy here. It could be a friend too, a sister. That just causes a lot of drama too. Is what I'm hearing. The sun's right underneath that. So. Beautiful energy. Um, I love you guys. If this reading resonated, call, drop a comment down below. Give me a thumbs up. Um, you can always donate to the channel. I love you, love you, love you. Take care of you, Taurus.